welcome back guys to about optimistic gamer we are retail controller for gaming so today i'm going to be showing you the best weather tips so without no further ado let's get straight into it all right first i'm going to show you my meteorologist building and this is my crew guys i don't remember which level you will unlock this building so sorry about that guys all right so as you can see right here I got my meteorologist my tire type this is my main crew department that you have my advanced crew department okay guys as you can see though there my chassis and engines engineer chassis engineer all right so with this department guys it help you with your race it's a very very important and keep out of your race so i'm going to choose a race guys we're going to do an endurance today so let's see who we will be playing against guys all right we will play in italy shashank from italy let's see my qualifying times right here guys Okay, my time is great. One, two, which is perfect. So, guys, as you can see, in our weather right here, it's mid cloudy and it's going to be stormy. As every rain expected during lap three. So, the every rain is going to be in lap three. Most times it's in the middle of the lap. But it doesn't really matter whether at the starting or the middle or the end because what really matters is your position into that lap okay guys so now that we have a uh, cloud and everything we're going to work with our soft tires for these first laps so let's go you can check out my other videos guys about best GT managers tips to do a sprint race okay guys so far my opponents are driving Porsche which is bad for them which is a plus for me why I say that because my McLaren is faster than the Porsche it doesn't matter which driver you have so we're watching the weather guys we know that in lap 3 right for the change so what we can do we can either make the changes in lap 2 or make it in lap 3 but for me I like to do my changes before the weather begins I don't want the weather to catch me because when the weather catch you your tires will start to slow you down and before, if depends on where the where they catch you if it's far from the pit stop that's a problem because if there are guys who already change their cars they will be they will be will be passing you before your pit stop so i'm gonna conserve on my tires here going into the pit because i'm at a distance where my competitor is far away so i will have enough time to change even though they do did not stop in the pit stop i still have enough time to change and come out and still catch them back so let's go on guys we're going about the speed and on our way the tire might give me a little trouble but i don't mind because i know that for the remainder of the race I'll be okay so as you can see to the right side of the screen from, from your view you should be seen from the right side so now while they are going to be slowing down because of the weather I'll be picking up the pace as you can see now guys coming up on everyone some of them will be going to the pit stop which is bad now for my 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 
opponent because he did not take a pit stop unless he already started the race with with a wet tire okay guys so as you can see i'm already haha <laughs> he started the race he did not make that pit stop because it seems either he does as a meteorologist or he just missed his pit stop however it's a plus for me because my meteorologist our meteorologist had warned us so i have the upper hand to go and overtake them so as you can see guys that's the reason why i love to do my pit stop before the weather starts because they are so far away from their pit stop and because they do have the correct tires it causes them to lose out and lose their position because now look how far um, majority of them guys you see which is a plus for me because now i can make my next pit stop comfortable with having a lot of time so this is great guys for me this is very great for me so i'm gonna get some speed and i'm gonna do a pit stop guys seeing as if i have the time to do it i'm gonna just do it guys so they would they will be not doing a pit stop because remember they have just made their pit stop so they will be not they won't be doing any pit stop guys so i'm out of here and next thing to consider guys when racing is to conserve on your boosters so as you have seen i have both my drivers as the maximum boosters train for is coming up fast but I don't mind so because of this gap guys which is great because of how I change over my tires if I had done like them guys maybe I might have been at first second but not so far away from them guys so I think I want to do a pit stop scene as if as I said I have the time and the reason why I want to do it because I don't want to risk my tire and gas on lap 7 and 7 7 and 8 oh I missed it I missed one in my first driver but no biggie let he maintain the first place position while my next driver come and take it so that he will do his pit stop so now he can make a pit stop guys And now my first, my second place, if he comes up before my first place, leave the pit, he will be able to be at first and maintain first place. So you see, it's balanced for me. And these are some of the strategies that I use to win my races each day. Let me know if they work for you guys. So as you see, I'm already out, first and second, on the way to victory. So times like these guys, I would just just let my car boot up, my car to move a bit faster. I would just use all the boosters. Just a bit idle. So there we go guys, first and second. Easy peasy. 
all the way to the finish line and so guys tell me if you enjoy and that's how you can use use up these strategies within this weather condition i'm going to just reset my sponsor limit here and call it this right here guys and so guys thanks for tuning in it's about opti optimistic gamer and peace out